friends welcome back it is queen of queen she me and today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a simple easy piece of recipe that i like to make especially when i'm pmsing if i'm hungry if i just want to like a little light snack and plus two since we're in the summer months it's just perfect to also partake in ice cream and also in a healthy way as well so if you're interested to see how i make my own simple three ingredient pretty much vegan ice cream and continue watching these are just additional items that I actually just place inside for just like natural sweeteners and for flavoring as well I like to use cinnamon because it's good for inflammation as well so it's good for you know your blood flow throughout your whole system <laughs> so I like to use cinnamon and plus two just gives it like a little flavor like a little spice to it and then I like to use honey as a natural sweetener this is the Bernard's um, honey I've been using this one for like over a year now and it's actually manufactured out of Louisiana so I really do like it it has a pleasant taste as well I like to use the Marinatha almond butter and I've actually been using almond butter now for two years the greatest switch over in the decision I've made thus far while actually trying to become healthier myself in my own journey and what I like about almond butter is that it's light it's creamy and they also have this one in the crunchy flavor as well which I do like as well so good it has the actual you know ground pieces of almond in it and I love that it's actually just like a loaf um sweetener as well it's not as sweet as peanut butter believe me start eating this for a while and then switch over to peanut butter and you will definitely tell the difference between the two peanut butter is a lot heavier and it has a lot more oils in it versus the actual almond butter and I love cacao powder. You guys know I've been rocking with cacao powder now for about the same, about two years. I love to use these in my cacao smoothie. Or if I'm like having, you know, some cramps during my menstrual cycle, I'll actually just come into the kitchen and just put some on a spoon and just eat it that way. Or put some on a spoon with some of the actual almond butter for like a little snack, a little treat. Or like you guys are going to see me do here today for the actual vegan ice cream that I make here in the house. Um, the first time I made it in the house, it was a hit. Bay really, really did enjoy it as I did as well. And also, too, real quick with cacao powder, there's a difference between cocoa powder and cacao powder. And cacao powder is the actual better version that you should be intaking and not cocoa powder. Um, because cacao powder is very natural, it's high in antioxidants as well. And it really is good for um, ensuring that you get all those nutrients that you need. And it really does help with your menstrual. This is one of the items recommended that I find a lot on Pinterest for menstrual cycles if you're having, like, uh, you know, like cramps and everything like that. Or even headaches this is really good as well to take care of that so enough rambling guys I'm gonna get right into making this actual vegan ice cream I just wanted to go over the items you will also need as well some frozen bananas as well as you guys can see here I have quite a few of them in here just you know split in half and I'm gonna use pretty much four halves which is two bananas and you want to make sure that they're actually over ripen so we can get that natural sweetness as well and then for the cream part for the vegan ice cream i'm going to be using of course my silk almond milk this is what i've been using and loving for a good minute and i just love it you guys so again everything i shared here with you guys will be listed down below in the description box for you guys to check out and let's get right into making our vegan ice cream queen so So before we actually begin to blend our vegan ice cream, I did want to mention very quickly to you guys that one, you may need to add a little bit 
of water depending on how thick this actually does blend down to again depending on how cold your actual bananas are how thick they are and as well again how thick you want your actual ice cream to be if you want a little bit more thicker consistency you can simply just add in another banana if it's not sweet enough but if it is sweet enough simply add in ice cubes don't add anything else to make it overly sweet that's not the point here we want something healthy yeah yummy in our tummies for the summer days okay so i'm fixing to actually blend this this is my ninja it came in a three-piece set and it's two other sizes this attachment head actually um fits all three containers so i'll actually leave that link down below for you guys to go around ahead you guys and get right into blending our ice cream So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna actually just check the consistency of it and ooh! Okay, so we do actually have a banana actually still stuck in here. So what I'm going to do, since I do have a little bit of my almond milk left, I'm going to just put a little bit in here just to help with the blending. There we go. Now we're gonna continue blending. All right, queen, so once your ice cream is fully blended, this is actually how it should look. Doesn't that look delicious, y'all? And we made this at home with no like extra additives and all that other kind of crazy crap. Just bananas, pretty much almond milk, and peanut butter. That's really your three basic ingredients for this three ingredient vegan ice cream, you guys. Everything else, again, I added in because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted more flavoring, but really and truly, this could have just been a regular old banana ice cream and y'all look at the consistency of this like it is thick and this is pretty much like a soft serve this is pretty much a soft serve so what you want to do now if you're wanting to go ahead and eat it immediately i will go ahead and do that if it's at this consistency if you want it like a little bit colder or a little bit thicker then the only thing i recommend is that you just put this inside of an actual plastic container these containers I love they're stackable y'all these are from Rubbermaid and I got these during a Black Friday sale yeah this is the only thing I literally purchased during Black Friday sales so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to store these in some of the smaller containers here so that way later on me and Bay, we can actually you know enjoy the ice cream and so she can too because she's at work right now so I'm just simply going to put this in here so here is our ice cream our soft serve vegan ice cream that we made at our own home and this is mine right here and I'm actually just gonna try some out mmm it's so rich so freaking creamy so delicious let me go ahead and pop this in the freezer so it doesn't continue to thaw this is so delicious like even your kids would love this you guys I love these containers. Look how they just stack on top of each other. All right, you guys. So that pretty much concludes today's video. You guys see I wasn't on camera because, yes, I got my hair tied up. But this is, like, literally one of my favorite snacks to have. And when I came across this recipe on Pinterest, I just pretty much just tweaked it to my liking. So you can add any kind of other, other fruits that you would like to add into it, whether it be um, blueberries, bananas, again, like we use today. You can use strawberries. You can even use mango because I have a mango here. But I don't have enough milk. So next time I'm going to make some mango ice cream. I think I'll just come back and share that with you guys again. Because it's going to be a little bit different in making it. So I'm pretty sure you guys will be interested in that. But this is like one of my favorite like snacks to have. Mmm. It is so good y'all. And it's so chocolatey. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So queens. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want more of these kind of random videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up, okay? So that's how I know you guys are definitely liking my food content as well because this is a part of wellness, honey, and you guys still take care of yourself from the inside out. And when I'm having a craving for ice cream, this is what I do unless I just totally cave in and go to Baskin Robbins and get some cookie dough ice cream. I mean, I do have those moments. But for the most part, this has been literally my favorite, favorite, favorite like snack and treat. Especially, again, when you get a sweet tooth or your kids just wanting something, but you may not have enough money. And I just thought that this would really 
really be something that you guys would like to actually incorporate into your life. And it's enjoyable and it's so delicious. So, all right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta finish eating my ice cream, okay? Comment down below if you try this out, queens. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.